So what Otto Reed uh, started uh, following my own experience in a refugee camp. I, I come from Rwanda and we had a genocide that most people have heard of. Um, and we, um, it, through the experience, I realized I could still be seated in those camps if someone who valued education didn't come and say, go back to college, you know. And so what Otto Reed started to try to address the needs for education in a refugee camp. And we looked in many camps that are scattered in sub-Sahara. There are over 18 million of people living down there. Um, we realized the refugees from Darfur, uh, Sudan, have been almost forgotten. So we decided initially to create a package where we sponsor a whole classroom. We sponsor a teacher, we sponsor kids, make sure they, that whole classroom is cared for and kids can stay in school. Then we realized there are no shelters. Hmm. So the priority shifted. We decided maybe we need to shelter first. If we build one classroom, put the kids in. If we raise enough funds, build another classroom, put the kids and teacher in. So we, we decided to back off from sponsoring a kids and teacher. We decided to start building classrooms and bathrooms. We returned again and again to this core question of, is Chad the right place? Because there are so many challenges around the, particularly, uh, the particular situation and status of the Sudanese refugee population and the Chadian government. Um, and what we, what we landed on was Chad because it's so hard. <laughs> and the reason it's so hard is all of these complex variables. But if we don't go there, who will go there? And so it's a time to really think deeply about what does it mean to engage in humanizing donor work? And how do we dig deep into ourselves and have a radical generosity. And that generosity is, of course, in the dollars that we put forward. We, we can't do anything without the dollars. But it's also in our mindsets, it's in our patience, it's in our willingness to trust a little bit, it's in our willingness to honor local processes and be willing to accept that, you know, you, you can't proceed at the same pace that you would in the developed world. And that is not the fault of the developing world. However long it takes, whatever little piece you can contribute, that, that's critical and that's part of a radical generosity that I believe Watoto Reed has and that's what I believe Claudine, under Claudine's leadership, we have all been asked to do and, that what, and that's what we're asking other people to help us do. That belief that education for your children will transform their lives and somehow get them out of the circumstance you find yourself in so that you can do better by your children. That's something that I think we all have and it is certainly something that we saw firsthand in the camps in Chad. Um, the message was loud and clear from all of the elders, from all of the parents, from all of the community members and from the children also. Help us to educate our children.